Do you know cigarette smoking causes more than 480,000 deaths each year just in the United States? And each year, more than 35 million people attempt to quit smoking, but only 5% make it past the first year. Hi guys, this is Sidra, your pharmacist, and welcome to my channel where you can ask your pharmacist all about health and pharmacy. Today, I'm gonna talk about all the key points that can help and guide you on your journey of smoking cessation. So let's begin. Now, why is it important to quit smoking? Well, because my friends, it's literally worth it. The benefits of quitting smoking are far more than the pleasure derived from it. Like there is a decreased risk of heart diseases, there is a lesser chance of developing lung cancer, it improves your blood circulation in heart and lungs, it reduces the lungs disease, and there is a reduced risk of premature death. And literally, I can go on and on and the benefits of smoking won't end. it's not easy to quit smoking as it can get terrible withdrawal effect like depressed mood frustration anger uh, difficulty to concentrate people also get restless or sleepless nights there's an increase in appetite I understand but take a deep breath and say it's gonna be all right as help is available out there so if you have decided to go on the journey of quit smoking then more power to you just don't give up and if you think you're close to giving up just talk to your pharmacist or healthcare provider or call the helplines like 1-800-NO-BUDS because they're all there to support you through this journey. All right, so without any further ado, let me share some of the over-the-counter products that can help you stop smoking. Now, smoking cessation products are available in the form of gums, patches, sprays, and lozenges. And I'm gonna go through each of these options and the right way to use it to make the smoking cessation journey as smooth as possible for you. All right, so let's start with nicotine patches. These patches are available in the form of 7 milligram, 14, and 21 milligram dosage. So now how to decide which dosage to begin with? It's very easy. So if you smoke more than 10 cigarettes per day, then you have to start with the 21 milligram patch, okay? Now use this patch for about six weeks, okay? And then reduce the dosage to 14 milligram patch. Use that for two weeks and then eventually finish off with the seven milligram patch for two weeks. I know it's not as easy as it sounds. So before you start using the patch, ask yourself a simple question. Am I ready for it? And if you don't answer in a clear, loud voice that yes, I'm ready for it and I can do it, only then proceed forward because this patch is your nicotine replacement that you actually get from cigarette. And if you smoke while you have this patch on, then there is no point of using this patch. So pick a date when you're ready to quit and then start using the patch with the determination of never going back. Now let's talk a little bit about the application of the patch. The patch is applied on the clean, dry area of the skin. Make sure there's no moisturizer on it. It's not wet and it's applied on the upper waist and the area between the neck and the shoulder, okay? After you have applied the patch, Press on to the patch for 5 to 10 seconds to make sure it sticks on and rotate the sites of application to avoid skin irritation on the same side. Now make sure you apply patch first thing in the morning and preferably try to remove the patch at night as keeping it on can cause uh, sleep disturbances and you don't want that. If you experience skin irritation on the side of application, then you can just use some topical Benadryl or cortisone cream to soothe the skin irritation. Also, once the patch is taken off, make sure to discard the patch by folding the adhesive sides together and then wash your hands right away. Now, sometimes patch is not sufficient enough and you may need a nicotine gum or lozenge to help with the breakthrough craving. If you are using a gum, there's a proper way of using it. Remember to chew on it slowly, okay? Don't rush through it because it's not gonna work then. The right way is to chew and then part between the cheeks and 
gum to allow nicotine absorption. In fact, intermittently chew and park for at least 30 minutes. No rush over there. Uh, now, some people just miss the puffing uh, experience when they are on the nicotine replacement therapy. And if you are one of those, then nicotine inhaler is a great option for you as it's made to actually mimic the smoking of the cigar or cigarette. And if you are one of those who have already tried nicotine therapy and it didn't work for you at all or gave a partial relief, then please don't give up because there's still light at the end of the tunnel for you. For your next step, you could actually get a prescription medication like bupropion or Chentex. They are very commonly prescribed for smoking cessation. Bupropion not only help in reducing cravings, but also help with the withdrawal symptoms. And Chentex is also great. There is a starter kit and a continuation pack as well. It actually blocks the nicotine receptors in your brain. See, now your brain knows that you're not getting that happy reward from smoking, then you won't eventually smoke, right? That's easy science. Finally, just remember the four D's in your smoking cessation journey. Number one is drink lots of water. Number two, try to delay your next cigarette. Don't rush on it. Number three is just take a deep breath. And finally, number four, distract yourself. Like find some fun activity, something you are passionate about. So you're focused on that and not thinking about smoking just because you're bored or, or having just dull moments. And that, my friends, is the end of today's video. I wish you good luck on your journey of smoking cessation. Make sure to share this video and hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on new videos on health and pharmacy. I'll see you next time.